guess who's back? Euro is back. It's been a minute. Uh, I just had to go get myself ready and brush my teeth before I come up on this camera with the hot breath. But yeah, um, long time no see, you guys. Um, yeah, I have a lot of explaining to do. Well, not a lot, but you know, I've been MIA. And you guys have been DMing me, emailing me, asking, here, hey, where are you? We haven't seen you on live. What's going on? Um, and disclaimer, if you guys hear a lot of noise in the back, I'm gonna try my best to like kind of drown it out with the edit, but they're doing construction next door. So if you hear that, don't mind that. But yes, uh, so the good news, I officially moved. So that's why everything looks different, obviously. Uh, so that's what I've honestly been doing. That's what I've been missing. I've been working behind the scenes, of course, but moving for the first time was a lot. It was a lot. And as you guys know, I work from home. So yeah, it was, I had to move business stuff and then I had to move my personal stuff. So yeah. And it's officially been about two weeks now. Well, two and a half weeks, or this might be the third. But yeah, to update you guys, I moved. And then I had to move my business stuff into a storage unit. So we went back to a storage unit. If you guys are, um, if you guys were here before, you guys know. I had my stuff in a storage unit before but then to keep home and business separate but they ended up you know it was it just it was just a lot but I had to do that because my apartment is not huge it's my little starter apartment so I am gonna be making my stuff still I have a designated section where I'm gonna still make my product um I have my kitchen and stuff so I'll be mixing and formulating and all that good stuff um, but I do keep my business essentials, all my supplies and stock, inventory, everything is at the storage unit. So I pretty much go from my house to the storage unit every day. Whether it's counting inventory, packing orders, I do at the storage unit. But as far as making product, it will be here. It's temporary because um, I'm looking to get a office space. Well, not more so of an office space, but it's it's like a a co-working space kind of warehouse type thing and they've been pushing pushing the opening it was supposed to be june they emailed me and said july but i've passed the place and it doesn't look ready so i don't even know if it's going to be ready by july but yeah we're at the storage unit until then because i just want somewhere where i can have everything on my business and make my stuff and i can't make stuff in the storage unit where i know that i can disinfect and keep clean 24 7 that's where I want to make this stuff. So yeah, storage unit is just going to be packing orders and all that good stuff. So yeah, today is, what time is it? It is Tuesday the 6th, 11 o'clock. And yeah, I wanted to pick up my camera and finally come on here. And also in the midst of me moving, which took like a two weeks process, I ended up getting sick. I thought it was COVID. It wasn't COVID. I took like a million tests. It was not COVID. So I'm assuming I had the flu. So packing orders and making products has been on a hold. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I gotta get back up on it. Um, I'm feeling better now, so I've, I've packed orders already and stuff before um, this past week. But yeah, it was a rough, I was like out of commission for like a whole week, it, it was bad. Like I'm still dealing with like a cough because bronchitis starts to act up and all that good stuff. But I'm feeling 10 times better and now I fully can get back into the um, the grind and the hustle of making products. So today is gonna be pretty much me starting to make product and transferring some of my stuff here to the apartment. Uh, yesterday I was able to do um, get the Kayomi serum ingredients from the storage unit. So I brought them over here in one machine. I need to bring the other. But I'm gonna start the infusion process for the Kayomi serum. Try to disinfect my kitchen and then start to make that. And yeah, then I gotta head to the storage unit. I need to do an inventory count because I need to know exactly what is sold out or what's running low so I need to make it. And then I gotta reorder supplies. It's a whole lot. It's a whole lot. This whole process just has been a lot so that's why i haven't even been like on youtube or making tiktoks of me on there i like try to post seriously they're like building another building next door <laughs> um 
but yeah this whole process of moving just has been a lot and, and i needed time for myself just the transition i need mentally like everything just so i haven't been on anywhere so i know you guys are like where are you i'm here nothing happened to me i was just literally just doing a lot just doing a lot um but yeah we're back i need to figure out what days i'm gonna go live now um, it is going to be a little different because I'm not going to have my big old shelves in the back and stuff like that. Because again, everything's going to pretty much be at the storage unit. So it'll pretty much probably be me making products when I go live here. And then I'll try to go live when I'm at the storage unit packing orders. But um, it's a little creepy in there sometimes. I just like to be pack my orders, be in and out, and then come back. So... We shall see. But yeah, today we're going uh, to do the infusion for a small batch of the Kayomi serum. Then we're going to head over to the storage unit after to count inventory and get some of the stuff that I need to bring back here. So yeah, it's going to be like a short video, but I pretty much want to just come in, give you guys an update because I know it's been the biggest question for like the last three months I've been at my so yeah, um, let me, I'm gonna, I need to wash my face and stuff, so that's what I'm about to do. Yeah, I know the deal. I don't even have all my products here with me. Let me see. I have my black suit, which I need to use. And like, I'm still trying to get everything in order too. Like, my apartment is not all the way together, but I fully furnished it already. So that I got like done in the first two weeks. Cause I don't want to be the one to be like six months in and I'm still buying stuff because you know leases are up like it, it's like in a blink of an eye so I just wanted to get it done and over with from the first week or two week or two that I was here so that's already done but as far as like just trying to get everything neat and stuff it's still it's a working process um so yeah um as you can see I have this lovely, lovely burn mark from flat ironing and it scarred my face. It was so much worse, but I've been using my products, of course. I've been taking pictures from before and after so you guys can see the difference. Um, it's way more lighter now than it was before. It was just, it, it looked, it just looks crazy. It looked like I got beat up. It was a big old bruise, but now it's fading, so. Y'all know the deal, the black soap I've been using. This helps fade scars and dark marks. So this has been helping. Y'all know the deal to the Kayomi serum. I need to re-up on my products as you can see, it's almost done. And then I have to grab my mask, but the mask I probably will do later because I'm trying to film in nighttime skin routine. So I'll probably do my mask because I don't um, do it twice a day, I do it once. So, yeah, I'll probably do that. So, yeah, let me just wash my face. It's long. You guys, I took off my eyelashes. I have, like, a little mascara I need to wash off from yesterday. Um, that didn't all the way come off. But I have to give myself a lash break. It's been, like, five years nonstop. Terrible. <laughs> it felt so good to rub my eyes. But, like, I'm already missing them. But I just... You know, some people feel uncomfortable without them. Like a little, I felt like a little makeup mole rat the first day. And I was like, you know, my favorite part of myself is my eyes. So regardless, I don't feel like I need them. But they're just like a nice little addition, you know, to feel awake in the morning without having to do makeup. Yeah, I know I don't really wear makeup like that. So when I have my eyelashes done, that is my complete look. Like, just wake up and go. I don't, you know, if I need to put concealer or whatever the case is, bronzer, I do, but my eyelashes is my makeup look. <laughs> if you know, you know. I don't do anything other than that. So now that I don't have them, I'm just like, <sighs> but I'm kind of used to it. I don't know if I'm gonna go to, I don't know if I'm gonna do it again. I might just give it like a full month and just use mascara, which I've been doing. Well, yeah, guys. I miss you guys. I know y'all just been hitting me up. Like, did you fall off the face of the earth? I did not, guys. I promise. I'm here. And I just been working, like, a lot and just trying to get things done, like, content-wise. I'm trying to get back in the groove of that. I posted a couple TikToks. But I've just been, like, soaking it in. 
that I moved and just loving it. So I wanted some time to just enjoy it for myself. OMG. <laughs> I got this off of Amazon because I absolutely <laughs> do not like when the water runs. I feel like these are so extra, but I could be extra sometimes. But it definitely helps. I don't like the running, the running water. It feels so weird. <laughs> I bought these little, I need to, ooh. I need to get the holder for this, but I got these off of Amazon, face towel, so I don't be wasting, so I don't waste my paper towel. Um, I need to open this though. Hmm. I need scissors, hold on. So yeah guys, you don't want to use your rag or your, Oops, on your towel because you're gonna transfer the bacteria. You just wash your face, it's nice and cleansed. So you wanna grab a towel or you can do these towelettes for your face. But how do I open this? Okay, so yeah, see? They're nice and big. I need to get the holder because I'm starting to just draw them out. To go in with the Kayomi serum and I bought a toner because honestly I want to make one but that's just not one of the one things that I'm going to do right away so I bought one that I liked which I should have just did but I forgot but too late I already put on the serum but I'll just do that in my other skincare video um so yeah you want to put your toner on after you wash your face. And I have been wearing my sunscreen. I was doing it before, but I realized I was allergic or having allergic reactions to um, a sunscreen that I was using before. My lip kept swelling up and the camera died. But yeah, um, my lip was getting swollen and I was having like eczema, like rash on my lip. And I was like, what is it that I've been using out of the ordinary, but not out of the ordinary that just would make sense of why I would have this reaction. It was only on my lip, not on my face, nowhere else, no bottom lip, just literally my upper lip. So I, I researched the brand that I had and other customers that was having allergic reactions and then, I, and then I started going down a rabbit hole and it was like certain ingredients in the sunscreen, like the regular ones, where um, it was known for people to have allergic reactions. So I literally found one in Target and I was like, I know I had to use a mineral. Cause even I, um, when I go get facials, um, the esthetician, she had recommended one that they had there and I was using that one and the same thing happened. She had said that it was mineral as well. And girl, that thing, same thing, lip, bumps, everything. I was just like, okay. When I say the lip is swollen and like if I eat something spicy and I love spicy food, if I eat something spicy, it would just start burning. I'm like, I found this in Target. If you guys can see it. Yeah, so this one's mineral, and I checked out the ingredients, and it's been working. No swollen, no swollen lip, no nothing, so I'm happy because, listen you guys, this is essential. Even if you are a person of color, you need to wear SPF. Yeah, if I would've been wearing this from younger, I would probably not have dealt with any hyperpigmentation on my face like I do um, now, so or scarring like this, especially since I have this, I do not want the sun to hit it and it makes it permanent or makes it darker. So I've been wearing my SPF and this has been working. Guys, you need to wear it. This one, I think um, it's 80 minutes. So you do have to reapply throughout the day. Luckily, I don't really wear makeup again, so I can just pop this out and reapply it. But the girlies that's wearing makeup, uh, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. But you do have to reapply SPF throughout the day. Um, some are like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 45. This one is 80 minutes, so luckily it's a good um, time. And then I got 30. Um, you should really get 50, but I didn't see them have 50 in this one in Target. So I just got this, this is good enough. But yeah, and then you wanna do the two finger method. So that's how much you know. 
you should be putting on your face. So you do the two finger method. And yeah. I didn't do that. This one has white casts, but if you just keep rubbing. Um, I don't know if you are of a darker tone. You don't really want that because it kind of doesn't blend in. So definitely find one that doesn't have a cast. I know for me even still, like if I go into the water with this, it's gonna the white residue will show up if I go in like a pool because it has happened to me before when I've wore other ones. But for the most part, if you just keep rubbing in, it'll fully blend in with your skin. So there you go. And then you want to get your neck too, and then I like to rub it on my hands too because you already got wrinkled old hands. <laughs> so to not make them get any more wrinkled, I just rub the rest of it on my hand and then just get your spots and then be all good. And then I just carry with it. I carry it with me when I need to reapply. I put on a lip oil from Autumn Creations. Shout out to Imani. This is her cosmetic brand. I love, love, love her lip oils. I need to get some more, honestly. That reminds me, I need to, I should go buy some. Let's see if she has any other flavors. I think this is the blueberry, but yeah, it's pretty much done. So I'll pop that on. And Sometimes I'll cover up the mark. I've been just leaving it, honestly. Who cares? Who cares? Um, what else do I have to do? But it's on my eyebrows. So it needs to be filled. I need to do them actually. But I'm just gonna fill them in. I usually use my little um, other camp, my other mirror, but you guys are on top of it because I didn't get my um, my camera tripod from my storage unit, so I had to set you guys up on something. Usually I would use that to see what I'm doing. Pull in my eyebrows. I don't know why my eyebrows are so dark, because my hair is naturally like my hair on my head is naturally brown like a dark brown my eyebrows i feel like it's jet black at times yeah this eyebrow didn't come out so good and if i really want to be extra i'll like carve them out with some concealer but i don't feel like doing all that today because it's just a work day but yeah this is what we get to do and I have my spoolie. I'm just gonna take my eyelash spoolie because I have no more eyelashes on, so we're just gonna use this and brush them then. There we go. There we go. Uh, mascara. I just purchased this Maybelline. Uh, it's supposed to be cat eyes because that's what I get when I do my eyelashes. Uh, as you can see, I'm going through withdrawal, but I need a lash break. I'm even surprised I still have eyelashes. Can you believe it? Because <laughs> I can't. I have a ton of eyelashes left. I would have never thought. Five years? I, it has been longer than five years since I've did extensions. Like, it's been since, I want to say since 2019, I've been doing, no, that's more than, no, 2017, 16, 2017, I think I started doing eyelash extensions, and I just been, I think I took like one lash break, I don't know, since then. Um, why don't we all do this when we put on eyelash, um, do mascara, or anything with our eyes, like, like, why do we keep our mouth open? Like, what is the scientific reason behind that? I would like to know. And this is it. Simple, 
since I've been moving around my hair literally, so I'm gonna put on some of this edge control. Cause look, it's really, my curls are starting to come out on the top. <sighs> that is it. So we're about to go put on our clothes and I'm going to make, well set up for the coyote serum. But yeah, that's it for today. That's it for right now. I'm going to, yeah, go put on my clothes. I'll be back. All right, so we got the machine. I had made some last night. I need to make this other batch until I go and get the other um, machine for the storage unit. Um, I forgot that I need to pick up more gloves at my storage unit. So I disinfect my hands and I'm just gonna go ahead and put some more hand sanitizer, wash, disinfect, and sanitize. So we're gonna go and get the oils. I don't know if you guys can see, I need to move it a little bit closer. So we're gonna put the avocado. And there's measurements for max and minimum. So I usually remember And then sweet almond oil. Then we're gonna go in with the moringa for the tea tree oil because it's an essential and it has a um you can't put it in at a certain temperature. It has to cool down first or it's going to disrupt the essential oil. It, one, it won't be effective or rancid quicker. So we do the essential oils at cool down. But I'm going to head and put the moringa. I'm going to go ahead and put the carrot seed oil. our temperature gun so when it's cooled down I'll know when to add the essential oil and the vitamin C vitamin E sorry just pop that on there and if you're now just first seeing this this is the infusium 420 got this off of Amazon this and I think I'm gonna leave this um to infuse because I do it for about an hour and a half and then I'm just gonna run to the um what you call it I'm gonna run to a storage unit. Hour, 30 minutes, temperature. There we go. In the storage unit. Um, yeah, let me show you how it looks. It, it's, it's a hot mess right now. <laughs> literally, I have to organize it. Again, we literally just moved, so. I was able to get the table up. I'm actually going to take this white table to my house because I need something to work on. Um, but I just loaded everything in here. And now I need to like actually go through everything. So there's some stock in here. Over here, look, hot mess. We, we got to get it together. I've been packing orders too. It's, it's a lot. So, I'm gonna put you guys up. Here and I have my little light that I need to set up, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today. As long as you guys can see me. So let me get stuck. 
my laptop and oh and then I have my generator so so I can print the stuff and all that I have to print the orders so I'm gonna turn on my hot spot like every 10 or 15 minutes I go out and walk past the sensors because if not they turn it off and when I say it's a dark like pitch black I'll be ready to run out of here. One thing about me, I'm scared of the dark. As old as I am, mm -mm. I do not like the dark, especially in unfamiliar places. No, no man. So I really have to spend this week making a lot of products. What are going? Hawaii and one is going to England so I was like wait why is it choosing um USPS okay so yeah we have two international well Hawaii is not really international but one's going to England international so I'm gonna print these <laughs> I just plug that out to preserve the battery of Sharla. Sharla got a papaya mask and a black soap. So, papaya mask, black soap. Let's get the box. Is this better? A little better. Okay. Alright, so we got black soap. We're gonna wrap this in. Packing card, packing slip. Of Michaela. Michaela got a mask. Oopsie. Oh, it's Twitter. Mask. Mm 
We can mix some of that as well. Y'all, I have to um, remind myself to take samples so I can make some to pack in the orders. I have to look for the little sample packets. But yeah, guys, this is just temporary until that co-working space um, warehouse opens. I don't know when at this point, but they need to hurry up because I think that's going to be a lot better if I could just do everything in one spot. This is for USPS. Tiffany. Tiffany got a black salt, black cherry oil, and a mask. Papaya mask. And a black soap. Oopsie. And a black cherry oil. A black cherry oil, my favorite. And Tiffany is a shopper for years now. Well, not years, but <laughs> like the entire time of our existence. So, Alright, so camera's about to die. I'm gonna pop in a new battery and then I'll come back on once I'm organizing it. Alright, so I am done packing what I need to pack. Um, a couple of the orders I couldn't do because I have to um just fill the jars. I had made some more black soap, but I need to fill the bottles, so I need to write that down. I'm gonna get my checklists. To make sure I have, I'm getting everything that I need to bring with me. Um, I need to get black salt bottles. So I need to take it. Alright, so I was able to collect what I needed to collect as far as like ingredients. I'll show you here. I oh, this is some orders. But I got some of shea butter. I picked up some of the ingredients I need, essential oils, turmeric, kojic acid, lemon, and 
yeah i have to stop to get some more sugar um and i got my mixer my other one but i need to put this table now on the cart and then we are all good set to go for the day and i'm just gonna head back and start to make some stuff but i'm gonna drop these packages off so i'll catch you guys in a few all right now i am back at the house and these and the Kayomi serum is all done infusing. So I was able to get my gloves in the storage unit. And we are going to just transport this into a bowl. And I have to make it cool down again so that we can put the vitamin E oil and the essential oil. So let me get the bowl. Got the bowl, I'm just gonna disinfect. And not to wash, I just like to go in again and disinfect stuff. And I'm ordering some more hair nets. I need to get that off the Amazon. But my hair's in a ponytail right now. Okay, so that is all done. Okay, so now, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me try to pop you guys down a little. Okay. So, as you can see here, I'm gonna transfer it right now. We're gonna see all of the flower at the bottom. See down there, all the Caladula flowers. Pop that to the side, put the top back on, and then go ahead and mix this. Then I'll have to do a strain one more time. This doesn't unfortunately do a large batch that's why i got two and even the two is still not that much but we got to work what we got again i did one last night and check the temperature so we are at 181 i don't know if you guys can see 181 we want that to be at least like anywhere below 109 so it has some cooling to do all right, so I just checked back on the oil and it is good to go. So we are going to fill the jars. Just put on the fresh gloves. And let's go double check again. I checked maybe like 15 minutes ago. All right, so we're at 95.1, way better than what we even wanted. I said anything below. 109 and vitamin E oil. You should do two full caps. And the tea tree oil. And I did strain it again, so it should be good. There is a little bit of pieces left in, but that's fine because I have to put the Caladula flowers in the actual jar. So I just put a few of the dry petals in the inside. That one is pretty much for decoration because the flower is already infused in the oil itself, so this is just really decoration. I had did a poll and asked you guys should I keep the flowers in it or no, and you guys wanted it. You just said put a little, so I was like, all right. 
So that is what I... Oopsie! It's alright. Clean the counter after. Yeah, it feels good to be filming again. I'm gonna do a lot more behind the scenes and try to like incorporate some of my personal life into it as well. Like, I need to go back to the gym. I haven't been to the gym over a month. <laughs> I literally said once I'm um, back in the groove of everything after the move that I was gonna start back my classes. So I'm probably gonna start later this week, honestly. You know, when we're like, oh, we'll start fresh on Monday. I'd rather just like start. Now that I have my energy back, that I'm feeling better. So I might, what's today? It's Tuesday. I might go Thursday because I like the Thursday class. I might go Thursday. Because we need the summer body. I've been slacking. Slacking, slacking, slacking. And I also need some meal prep as well because I've been eating, eating so sloppy and it shows. So I need to get back on what I was doing. Do my high protein. Speaking of that, I need to get some more protein shake. But yeah, summer is here. I'm not even gonna say around the corner, it's here and I need to get it together. Oil. Tomorrow I have to make some more of the Tumor Clemon body polish because that is completely done. done and poured and ready to be capped and if they're done I'm gonna add them to the site and a little bit later I'm gonna do another batch and I have to order some more oil so I'm gonna get that done but yeah pretty much that's it I'm gonna put the tops on these and that'll be a wrap for today I just wanted to do a quick little vlog and pretty much just show my face and update you guys. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Your girl's back. I'm going to be more consistent. I just had to, you know, get my momentum going back. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make sure you like this video, comment down below, and I'll see y'all in the next vlog. And make sure you hit that follow button if you're not following, because if you watch, I mean, you're a part of the family. So I will catch you. And on that note, I gotta go. Bye.